Hello and welcome back to Andrew's Tabletop Gaming. Today we are going to be looking at the Star Wars Flips new collectible game from Tops. Um, saw a video about this on YouTube from Wassy Plays. Go and have a look on his channel. I'll put a link in the description. Um, just with some of the art off of the um, promotional stuff and it looked cheap, it looked collectible and it's Star Wars so I was all in. So went on to eBay to see if I could find a cheap box which I did. I got this for about £24 which um, to be honest for all this stuff is a bargain. Um, in the box you get six of these cubes all sealed each cube comes with its own rare shiny pog I'm gonna call them and um, no, this one's got hand solo um, I believe the ones I had in my box I had two hand solo two Vader two Luke I'm not sure if that's the same in every box uh, you get three yellow dice you get three black dice in a box obviously you're supposed to uh, let me try and get this yellow one out show you one of the other characters so we have old man Luke Skywalker in there and Solo in there um, the colour of the dice doesn't make any difference you can put them in any dice they pop out I will show you that in a second and you can in the box you also get 24 of these are the packets I've already opened twenty-four sealed packets with five flips in there. Um, the ones I've opened so far, I believe everyone's had a shiny so a foil flip in it um, but that may not be the case so these are I believe a pound if you buy them individually in the shops the dice with the six on them come at three pounds I think you can find them so getting this for 24 pounds you know I'm getting free dice and free pog, no, flips sorry gotta stop calling them pogs in the um, in the dice, so very cool. I opened eight packets, um, which is pretty much what you can see on the mat here, my uh, item verso mat, um, and I managed to get two of the other. So there's only five rares, no, six rares. Sorry, so. There's a separate uh, section of others that you can collect as well. So I managed to pull a Yoda and a Leia. Uh, Vader's come from one of the dice. Han's come from one of the dice and Luke. So I've only got one left to get. Um, I found I uh, had these coin collecting uh, sheets in a drawer. So I'm going to put them all in here and I think they will look lovely. Uh, bigs so yeah very cool um, I'll show you the weird thing was so you get a little pamphlet in your packet not with the dice but in the little one pound packets I opened eight packets only five of them actually had this how to play in them which for the three people who would have bought the empty ones and a dice, not much good to you. So that's a bit weird. I think that must be a production problem because I'm sure it's supposed to be in there. Um, gives you a how to play. Obviously this is a child friendly game. So lots of pictures of little kids. Um, and you have that on the back and then you have a checklist of all of the flips that you can get and the rare one that I'm missing 
if you, well, you're not going to be able to read that on that screen, is BB-8. Um, there's an extra section called Star Flips, which has got some of the more famous characters in it, and I believe, I, I assume, they're going to be foil as well. Um, so, yeah, so 145, I believe. I've seen it advertised that there's 210, but there's nowhere on here that makes me feel, unless there's shiny versions, or, you know, foiled versions of some of the normal ones that you can get. Um, but this has 145 listed, um, so you can tick them off as you go along. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Um, so, the basic game is basically top trumps. You fill your dice, which gives you the guidelines of what you can put in it. So, you get one five star, you get one four star, you are allowed, sorry, my granddaughter being loud in the background. Um, you can get three three stars in your cube and one two star in your cube. So if you look at the actual flips, I'm not sure how well you can actually see that. This is Mace Windu. He has a five star, which is next to his name, and his stats are speed, intelligence, and skill. The red one's skill, the bottom, uh, the blue one is intelligence, so he has 80 speed, 86 skill, 86 intelligence. Um, so he would go in your 5 star, so I'll show you that. So, at the beginning of the game, you decide what colour you're going to play. So, I'm going to put everything in yellow side down, so I'm going to take Mace as my 5 star. Which is probably a mistake, I'll show you later. <laughs> so, then you pick your 4 star. I've got a, uh, I don't know, Snoke is a 5 star. We've got Boba Fett here, who's one of the shiny ones. He has a 4 star next to his name, so I can pop him in here. The, the dice is sort of rubberized, so these pop in, you know, if you're a collector. I would suggest you may want to get doubles of everything you if you're going to ever play this game. And then, so, my three stars go in the three. I'm going to have Dengar. I'm going to have Saul Guerrera. I'm going to have a First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, see, he's got the three star. And then your two stars options, the ones I've got at the moment because I need to open some more packs are Lobot, a medical droid, Jawa and Wicket. Well, it's going to have to be Wicket because I love the Ewoks. So, Wicket goes in there. So that's my cube built. I said I was going to go all yellow and then I've basically mixed them up. So, the way it works, if I'd done it properly, you roll your dice, you name what your test is going to be against so say I pick speed roll my dice I hit Boba Fett he's got 90 speed but my opponent's got 95 speed oh my god oh no I lose again so I take my pog out I flip it up and as soon as my opponent has got me to all black sides I lose or if I do it to my opponent I win so, if you hit a black, hit, so say I'm playing yellow and I hit a black side, if I lose with that black side stats, I then have to turn one of my other yellows over. So, not like top trumps where you go back and forth, this is, you know, basically going to be done in as many goes as it takes to flip these over, even if you hit the same ones over and over again. Um, you will be flipping them to your br the side, which means you lose. So say I, I land on Wicket, and he's already been turned over, but I've lost, then I would have to choose between Mace and the Stormtrooper, and of course I'd choose the Stormtrooper, because Mace has got much better stats than the Stormtrooper. And we pick it over, so Mace is now my only active side, he's the only one I can win on, 
so he's got to try and win the game by himself. <laughs> um, yeah, so so basically, top trumps with a dice, which is quite cool. You know, randomizes it. Um, I've heard a lot of people say the you know the standard of this is a little bit ropey. <sighs> It's better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, these rubberized dice are quite cool. Um, you know, they're quite big, chunky. You know, you can get you can get a good roll on them. Um, they're not going to break. You know, kids can have fun with them. You know, there's going to be younger kids who won't be able to get these out. I wouldn't have thought as well. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, the one thing I would say is the um, if I've got an example here, layer, I'll show you the rare layer that I've got. See if you can pick that up on the camera. There's plenty of marks on here. They are just, the, the five that you get in the packets are just thrown into the packet. There's no, you know, they're not individually wrapped or they are just in there. The weird thing is, that, you know, there's... The surfaces are fairly smooth, so it must be the the edges as they rub. I'm not going to do it too much because obviously I want to keep this in as good a condition as I can because it's going to go back in my set. Um, but yeah, each flip has a different picture on the side, and there are also multiple versions of different characters as well. See if I can find. There's definitely two rays in this. So we have this array. Weirdly, both are five stars, I guess. They're the same character, but they have slightly different stats. Yeah, array number one is a 92, 98, 96, and the other array is a 96, 94, 92. So one is actually slightly better than the other. Um, depending on how you want to balance your dice out, I guess it gives you uh, build options, and like I said, we have different artwork on the other sides. The artwork on these is pretty cool, you know? It's all characters from the... It's all films. So, and most of the film lines are, are represented, as far as I know. We've got Young Obi. Even Younger Obi. We have Old Obi. As well, uh, Lando, we have Emphis Nest, we have Snoke, and we have R2 on the other side as well. I'm not sure how much different artwork of R2D2 you can get. We have C3PO. Boba Fett, obviously, fan favourite Boba Fett. There's a couple of these. There's a shiny version of this as well. So, pretty cool. And obviously you have people like Luke Skywalker. But Luke also comes in the rare slot with Vader. Hopefully you can see the stats on those two guys. So they are a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. So they can't be beaten. So I don't know why you would play anything else. You get one of, unfortunately for Han, he seems to have um, got the short straw. He is 99, 99, 99. Um, Leia is also 99, 99, 99. Um, Yoda gets the 100, 100, 100 score. No idea what BB-8 is. I'll be surprised if he's not 99, 99, 99 for some reason. Because BB-8's an elite droid. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to play these guys in your 5 slot. I can't, you know, you get one of them in the cube anyway. So, on your dice. So, they are, there's no way you're going to swap them out. You'll just swap them out for the character you want to play, I guess. If you're a Yoda fan, you will 
try and get hold of a Yoda to put in there, but yeah. So all the other fives really, um, yeah, just um, put them in your <laughs> put them in your folder, save them just to look at because you're going to be playing one of these bad boys. So yeah, like I said, there is a different section of flips in the higher number range, 119 to 139 from Admiral Akbar. There they are, actually. Alphabetical order? Mm, sort of. Um, to Yoda. So, I don't know if I've got one of them here. So 133. There's Obi-Wan. Yeah, so Obi-Wan is not one of the elite characters, but he gets his own a second shiny, he gets a shiny in that section, so for the more famous characters we've got uh, 20 other of these foil flips which are really cool, really cool so yeah, that's about it really, there's not much to this game it is something I think would be a lot of fun around a table with um, lots of people playing. Uh, I guess it's technically supposed to be a one versus one game, as it says, player one, player two. But yeah, I can't see why you couldn't uh, make this a multiplayer game. And uh, hope you hit your big number five when everybody else hits nothing. And then make everybody flip all their flips over, as the name suggests. So, yeah, um, fun little game. Kids, I think, will love this. You're rolling dice. You've got pretty pictures. You know, it's a uh, luck-based, skill-based, in your building your dice game. So adults can have a bit of fun. Star Wars is always awesome. Um, so, yeah, very nice. Um, just wish the quality on some of the uh, foil car uh, flips cards, got to stop saying cards, um, was a little bit better. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Like the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. I know we all say it, but it would be appreciated, and we'll see you next time.